Guys, it's Elizabeth Wales with Lifestyle to Thrive. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to talk to you about folate. I'm going to talk about some deficiency symptoms and how much we need in the diet, as well as a solution to make sure that you can get enough in your diet without eating like four cups of Brussels sprouts. But first, please like, please share. I'd like to bring as much value to as many people as I can. So folate is also known as vitamin B9. And it's very important to help the body to absorb iron, which is very important for us to have our red blood cells carry oxygen throughout our body. So lots of times a vitamin B9 or a folate deficiency will come out in the same way that an iron deficiency will come out because we need things like vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 to synergistically work together so our body can absorb iron so that way the blood cells can carry the oxygen. So if you have a vitamin B9 deficiency, you could have a problem with anemia. And so a lot of the symptoms of having a, v a folate deficiency are similar to those of anemia because it kind of ends up being the same thing. So um, if you are folate deficient, you could struggle with fatigue, a lack of energy, lethargy, breathlessness, you could feel faint, have headaches, have really pale skin, and even have heart palpitations. And untreated, um, a severe anemia, vitamin um, B9 deficiency can be life-threatening. So it's, it's serious and we need to make sure that we are getting enough folate in our diets. So how much should we get in our diets every day? The daily recommended allowance for folate is 400 micrograms per day. So we want to make sure that we are getting about that much in our diets every day. How much is that? Well, about one cup of Brussels sprouts is 100 micrograms. And we need 400 micrograms, so that could look like eating four cups of Brussels sprouts. Uh, personally, that's not my favorite way to get folate. I have a favorite way to get folate, at least um, about one fourth of the folate in my diet um, per meal comes from my complete nutrition system. So I get to use these delicious tasting meal replacement shakes. What's a meal replacement shake compared to a protein powder? Well, a meal replacement shake is fortified with lots of nutrition to really keep our bodies going. When I use my meal replacement shakes, I have complete confidence that my body's getting what it needs. So in this one, I have 70 micrograms of folate. So it's almost a quarter. And I do about two shakes a day, as well as other things to support that folate intake. And it tastes a lot better than four cups of Brussels sprouts, at least to me. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make a peach mango meal replacement shake, and it tastes amazing. So this is all we have to do. Instead of cooking four cups of Brussels sprouts, we're just going to put some water in the cup. two scoops of my peach mango powder, one, and two scoops of deliciousness. Put my lid on, make sure it's nice and secure, and give it a shake. And bam, lunch is ready, or brunch in this case. and it tastes amazing. So if eating four cups of Brussels sprouts doesn't sound like a good way for you to get your daily recommended allowance of folate every day, message me. I'd love to help you set up your wholesale account so you can save a lot of money and enjoy your folate in a meal replacement shake. Make it quick, make it convenient. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if you're interested, or if you know anyone who would be. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and a lifestyle to thrive.